Maybe I should put no man in the thumb. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, I have to check the mic. Wait, what? <laughs> oh boy. In this place, to lose is to find. And to find is to lose. Oh god, I'm cool. Kingdom Hearts, get that out. Migratory bird has taken flight. Will that bird survive its long journey to this place? Will it bear visitors to our castle? Come to see its defeated lord and pride of all, but to reign here until the end. This is still our territory. This is our realm. Such. In this castle, all beings must bow to our faith. Even should one be an overlord with dominion over everything else. And so we shall fulfill our duty as king until the final curtain. Followers, stand before us now! Take lightly to those who dare trespass upon our throne. Release the hounds from their chains and sound the horns. Take the reins and may our horses dash. May your bows strike a resounding note as your mighty arrows sing through the sky. Until the heir to our throne has arrived, no one shall be permitted to trespass upon this place. Now go! Yes, bring to us the heir to our thrones. Always setting the stage, but never seeing the performance. But now, it's showtime. We finally caught hold of that silver, that sliver of light. There is a path to victory. We doomed to fail from the start. 
This is our one and only chance. We cannot back down now. There is no turning back. No starting over. We threw everything away for this ghost of a chance. We renounced our own unmatched intellect. We even renounced our pride. <laughs> If I was if I was like in a true editing mood, I would make those I would try and make that echo. <laughs> Entering a new phase of our service from this point forth, Officer Brand. Since you'll be working with me again, I want to ensure you're up to speed on military behavior and intelligence handling. I thought we'd start with a bit of a review. First, you tell me, in the simplest terms, why we've come to this colony? Why have we come to this colony? <clears throat> Right. We're here to collect supplies, sir. Perfectly put. It seems you, you were paying attention after all. Even in this digital age, we'll most often receive instructions orally in the military, so paying attention is paramount. Oftentimes, orders will be given directly, since telecommunication equipment may be unavailable or compromised. So just be sure to keep doors those ears peeled at all times. You never know when new orders may come your way. Now, I didn't mention this earlier, but we were actually assigned an additional mission before we departed. <clears throat> We've been instructed to pick up an enlistee to handle running administrative operations on the ship. Really? I thought that base was all of us. The other divisions right now? This particular amnesty is a special case. Someone we've been looking for, who our intel says has been living off the grid here. And he won't be joining us too readily. That's why they chose us. I'm an old acquaintance, and you don't come across as military. Because you still don't have the pilots. Draw this man, draw the man MC a pilot suit already. Hmm. I'll tell you more about it as we procure what we need. You probably should buy some daily necessities while you can, too, as long as we're here. Uh, what's quite about the scene here, huh? I wanna buy a souvenir for the That's, uh, really not necessary. Crew all get short in the regular ships, so they can easily buy their own. We basically just ensure that half the crew is always on duty at any given time, while the other half gets a bit of time off. Our turn is up, actually, when this mission is complete. So, you'll have more of a chance to shop and relax then. I did buy sweets. Would you like some? When did you manage to get those? I'll take one. 
You should put that away before you attract the local riffraff. Hmm. It's very sweet. Going on the outside. It's a nice custom. Sweets are a bit of an unsung treat for us soldiers. Same level of booze, really. And I can't deny, I love them. He's a good So many sweets are bad for combat performance, though. Everything in moderation, I suppose. You know, I'm not sure I recall either of us ever walking through town like this before. Face nothing but adversity ever since the Shadow Bluckers began their incursion. We lost so many colonies up to this point. It often feels like we're fighting for nothing. We're fighting for losing battle. Even with the invention of the denial field and our research into rules, things just aren't getting any better. Mostly because the rules we've uncovered so far are all unstable, uncertain, dangerous. Like when the rule is set, we can't get it to produce the same result twice, even under identical conditions. How can we rely on something that's unpredictable in the time of war? The rewards are high, but the risks are high. We could just discover a reliable, consistent rule. The tides of battle would surely turn in our favor. If only. Reliable rules even exist? We tried countless experiments here, but almost all of them have proven fruitless. There's only one minor hint of success for us to cling to, and they call the failures. <clears throat> ah, 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 no, 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 get off the screen! Finally! Oh, the ship looks cool. I love the look of the ship. That just makes me think that I should really pick back up um, Starlink Battle for Atlas and play that. <laughs> <clears throat> anyway, it all started when we were observing a naturally occurring. We learned that there's a sort of compensation in nature, someone who's awesome faster than someone who has it. If they can gain the power to accelerate fast enough to cover otherwise impossible distances in an instant, in fact. See, velocity, mass, and energy equations are the perfect examples of the faith we hold in the rule of science. That's how we interpret the universe. Or, well, I suppose specialists will tell you it's a little different from that. It all has something to do with the speed of light, apparently. If you want to know more, you'll have to talk to the man. At any rate, I'm one of the results of this experimentation. Now, I'm what's known as a temporal acceleration prototype, or TAP. In order to give us the rule of speed, we are artificially attributed. We are, man, we were artificially attributed something, and subsequently, um, and subsequently robbed that thing. Of course, there are many different ways in which hyperspeed can be ma made manifest. For example, there are TAPs specifically created specifically for adapting to the di differing environments of alien. Basically, accelerating their own evolution to achieve, to achieve in seconds what would ordinarily take tens of thousands of years. The ultimate goal is to accelerate humanity's growth by making all of its potential <laughs> potentials flower almost as soon as they're planted. Mm. Mm. That's a bit. That's a bit much, though. That's asking for a bit much, though. Yeah. 
Hasn't been much though, ain't it? I mean, you're asking us to, like, you're basically forcing growth. Like, you're forcing people to, like, grow up fast. I mean, you can't, well, hasn't been done as of yet, but you can't, like, just, it, you can't just, like, immediately force a flower to bloom right away. And if you do that, then, <laughs> then you kind of just kill the flower. Like, you generally just kill the flower by doing that. Or, better example, or better, better analogy, like, you can't just force a caterpillar to evolve into a butterfly, like, right away. Because, I mean, when, it's like, when it's in that freaking... When it's in, like, the cocoon, like, that thing is literally reforming into a butterfly, and if you try to force it out of the cocoon before it's time, then, you, like, you basically kill the butterfly, you basically kill that caterpillar, and you will not get a butterfly, you'll just get, like, you'll just get, like, liquid. Like, Utopia is a bit much. Like, you, like, you can't really force. Like, you can't really force things to just like grow up instantly. To be honest, I was like that. I mean, in not like in a lot of cases, that'd be great, but still, <clears throat> I should get back to the story. <laughs> Successes have been rare, though. Most subjects collapsing under their own power. Those who are naturally, those who naturally develop this power, on the other hand, are all tough, committed, and very good at surviving. And they're the type who would even toss away their own pride in order to survive the most torturous of hells. Meanwhile, anything and anything, anything and anyone we TAPs had was given to us under the assumption it would be taken away sooner or later. That sure not conductive to advancement. If you want to gain speed, you've got to have the desire to go fast. You need the strength of will, the thirst to take back what you lost, and the desire to get revenge on those who cast you away. Welcome! Care for some star fried noodles? <laughs> Wait, wait, oh, wait, I know who that is. <clears throat> I was like, I just, I just noticed. <clears throat> welcome, welcome. Care for some star fried noodles? Hot and ready to journey to the center of your gullet? Should I still call you Second Lieutenant Nomad? I've got no I've got no clue what you're talking about. I'm just a regular old humble small town street food vendor. <sighs> ah fine, fine, you got me. I give up. Just stop looking at me like that, yeah? What are you planning to do with me? Court martial me maybe? Put me away for 20 years to life? What are you planning to shoot me down? Shoot me down right here and now! Well, first off, quit running your smart mouth. I'm not here for anything like that. I'm here to bring you back. For what it's worth, this is an order. Technically, you have no right to refuse. Get out of here with your nonsense talk about rights and orders! You came all the way- You came all this way just to bother me with that crap! I ran away from the force in order to fulfill my own goals! Even if you kidnap me, you ain't gonna stop me from running again! Huh. 
you ran away? Who's this clown? The newest member of our force, name's Brandon. He joined under my supervision. You're all still you're all still out there drafting new blood. Thought you would have stopped after me. But now that you've roped in but now you roped in some kid? You misunderstand. He did it completely of his own volition. Think of all the poor souls scattered into oblivion under the idea that their sacrifice was for the continuation of humanity. Who is how would you, holier than thou goons, react if we turned the gun on you and told you to go first, huh? I had something to live for. That's why I got out. I had to, I have to get my revenge. If I can't manage that, then everything will have been for then it, <clears throat> Oops. Read that wrong. Sorry. <clears throat> if I can manage that, then everything will have been worth it. I will get my revenge on the ones who abandoned me. You're leaving me in that damn prison. I don't intend to show them any mercy at all. I'll get my revenge on this whole damn world if I have. <clears throat> uh, 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 are you okay, Nomad? I'm okay. I'm sort of always, I sort of always lose my head a little whenever I think about the past. My abandonment gets me so angry I wind up feeling overwhelmed with this drive to just move forward. <laughs> to think I even got Brake's little lackey worried about me. No. I must be more busted up than I thought. Hey kid. You listen here good, you got me? Let so of experience give you piece of advice. When your superiors look at you, they see nothing but a cartridge of ammunition. Now, I don't mean that metaphorically. By the time you realize how they've used you, it may already be too late. Because you have been blasted to bits in deep space. This war is supposed to be the end of all things. You and then eh. You at least have the right to choose how you're gonna leave this world. <clears throat> no, man, I think you're blaming yourself, but you shouldn't be. There was no other option. Ha! Try selling me a one way ticket to hell again, are you? I hate to disappoint you, but I'm not going back. I don't even care about the future of humanity. <laughs> now, either you buy some fried noodles or you get the hell out of my sight! Permit me to say one last thing before you go. You spoke rather mournfully about having someone near and dear to you taken away, if I recall. I want you to know that there are some people who only know that sense of loss. They spend their youth just waiting for it. I've always envied you, no man. Because everything and everyone I've ever known has come to me through force. I've always, I've always had, <clears throat> and I've always just had to accept that I perpetually lose those things, those comrades, to the war. So even though your heart burns with regret, the fact that you even have a past to remember makes you shine in my eyes. Break. <clears throat> That's all I have to say. Sorry to have bothered you. Let's go, Brandon. Hmm. Hmm. Well, man, Nomad's revenge plot is... Nomad's revenge bit is more apparent here than it is in the main story.
manifested within no man allows for just a, allows for just about the simplest form of acceleration. Not only is he swift on the battlefield, but he's also capable of rapidly gathering intelligence and tracking enemy movement. He worked as part of a unit charged with operating the predecessor to the night clothes we have now. On the battlefield, his main objective was to collect combat data on our troops as they fought with the shadow buggers. He wasn't allowed under any circumstances to engage with the enemy. However, as it was paramount, he always came back. So, it was just reconnaissance? Reconnaissance? It was both a proof of concept for a denial field and a means of collecting data on rules. As well as a way for us to learn more about the nature and combat potential of buggers and the friendly fire risk of this new weapon. For him, it was hell. But each time he saw one of our own perish, his rule grew stronger. It was like some sick joke. The more he was left behind by the people he cared about, the more useful he was. The day it was decided we would officially begin utilizing the night globes is the same day he fled. His survival instincts were off the charts, so no one was even capable of chasing after him. By knowing and fully comprehending all of this, Commander Duop was still insisting we come here and try to re-enlist him. You must not fill you with confidence in your own enlistment. What do you think of humanity now? Will you run away too? instructed to report back once I made contact with no man. Whether that contact was successful or not, I guess they anticipated he respond with hostility. For the time being, we're free to do what we want until we receive orders from the commander. I wonder what he'll decide to do. What's going to happen to Nomad? What do you think, Captain? It's a good question. Say, honestly. I know what he's gone through. I've seen it myself. But whatever the commander decides is fine. The problem with knowing both sides of any situation is that you'll generally find neither one feels good to support. Forgive me, but would you allow me some time alone? Of course, if you need me for anything, don't hesitate to call. Activated. How can I help you, Master? Uh, did you hear what we were talking about? Do you know anything about Nomad? Yeah. Lieutenant Nomad was officially issued a temporary medical leave from the Force. That's how they ruled it officially, huh? It is presumed his cover story was adopted in accordance with military control regulations regarding information leakage. Through your conversation with him, through your conversation with him, I can confirm that he has been experiencing psychological trauma. Please be assured that the military is aware of accommodating to each of the individual's extenuating circumstances. Uh huh. Oh God. We're going. We're getting Metal Gear here.
Humans are intelligent beings who expand their own definitions through the protocol of words. And using the same approach, you explore the world and expand its own history. Consider the reason you decide to call me Little Salomon. The words you use to determine how you relate to your surroundings. Thus, I feel it can be concluded, Master, that the issues you are presently experiencing can be resolved through the use of words. <sighs> right. I want to know. I want to know more about Nomad. I want to hear his side of the story. I think I should talk to myself. Resolution acknowledged. Nomad is presently still operating his food stand, so he is available for conversation now. I advise you first purchase something from him. This positive gesture may lower tensions, allowing for smoother discourse. Always try to consider the other party's feelings and maintain a sense of professional distance until trust is established. <laughs> Thanks for the advice, little Solomon. Let's give this a go. I will place myself offline so as not to create an uncomfortable situation. Best of luck to you in this pursuit. Yeah, I'm thinking of Metal Gear Rising right now, and it just like I honestly just want Bit. I just want Blade Wolf because <laughs> that guy was cool. Welcome, welcome, who's next? Ah, you again? Wait, what happened to break? Uh, I can't, I just, I'm just here for food this time. Can I get some fried noodles? You can't fool me. I know you're just trying to cozy up to, to get me to talk. And admittedly, doing a better job of it than break. No, Briggs always been a little inept in the social department, so that's not saying all too much. Anyway, and I'll play along. Here's your order. I sprinkled it with some fried crunch and rainbow pickled ginger for you. Dude, I want some fried noodles. God damn, I want some fried noodles. I never had any. That would be my reason. <laughs> true you offered to join the force voluntarily are you like in some kind of bind or something money problems maybe looking for security for your family's future they're heartless tyrants I tell you we're all beating the poor kid who's lost his memory to enlist honestly they sure haven't changed their ways, I'll tell you that. Taking advantage of people has always been part of their MO. And Break! <laughs> he's no different. You weren't born into the military life. So why he's gotta get you involved like that? Yeah, whatever. I'm probably just projecting, quite honestly. I don't know what kind of rule you've got. That doesn't really matter. Just having one. The, just having one means you best get, get out while you can. They'll put you through hell. Trust me. I'm the end result of the path you're walking. And you don't want to wind up like me. All they care about is what you can do for them in battle. You're a tool to them. You have no reason to follow their orders.
Being made to fight for a cause that's not your own is wrong. You and you alone should choose when it's time to fight. Captain said the same thing to me. You sound just like Captain Gray. I can tell you're a good person, though, man. Don't try and butter. Don't try to butter me up. Ain't gonna work on me. I'm nowhere near as stupidly friendly as your captain, buddy. Though it's only just now occurring to me that if I rejoin the force, I might be able to take your place and get you out of it. I understand, though, that if I did, it would be for my own revenge. Though, not just for that. I'm still haunted by dreams of all those times I had to just abandon my comrades. Just leave them to die. I can hear them screaming for help. Their voices ring through my head as clearly as if it were happening right now. I understood all too well the fear they were experiencing. That's why I couldn't stand to keep watching them fall. There isn't a person in this universe who isn't beholden to their memories. Me? I'm just another guy enslaved by his past. Can't expect much of me. I'm a deserter. I'm weak. I turned my back on the fight and ran the other way. If I matters. We can go. We can go on because you paved the way. You didn't win, but you didn't lose. <laughs> You're smart for your age, you know that? Remind me of myself back in the day. Attention, all troops, this is R19. Our network has detected a swarm of shadow buggers approaching the colony. An incursion is imminent. All members, please return to the ship immediately, except for Brake and Brandon. No, um, excuse me? You two are instructed to hold your current positions. We will be sending your ships upon arrival. You are to board them and, and immediately head into battle. Oh, okay. The hell are you doing? You have to get out of here now. This might be your last. Master, please board the ship at once. Enemies are expected to arrive in approximately two minutes. That's your ship. Damn, I'm gonna cry right now. <laughs> Thank you for your service, man. You can leave the rest to us. I suggest you run while you can. Quickly, we mustn't allow a single civilian to be harmed. I'm confident your rule will lead us to success. Come on, rookie. Let's give this everything we've got. Roger that, Captain. We can't let this colony fall! And the colony fell because the game crashed. <laughs> yeah, uh, I think the colony fell. <laughs> okay, well, let's try it again. We can't let this colony fall! Ugh. Whoa, you feel that? There's some strange pressure coming from somewhere ahead. This force is far beyond the norm. What kind of buggers are we up against? Copy. 
Take that! Copy! Go! Copy! Take that! Shit! Copy! Yare, yare! Kuda! Take that! Copy! Go! Copy! No. Copy! Go! Copy! No. Take that! Stop. Copy! Yare, yare! Kuda! No. Take that! Copy! やれやれ。ひどいな。コピー。ね。人を捨て、狼を離れ。ただ一つの刃。大きな意志で。ブタ。ミッション。なぜ俺はこんな力を。<laughs> if no one can best themselves in battle, then their fates should be intertwined to the lovely tune of mutual destruction. This end as well. Wait, what the? Their heads are expanding? These buggers aren't human at all, are they? I think this match must be a command unit. 
Watch yourself, rookie. What's happening? Pull back. We have to retreat. Oh, boy. Coming! Confirm coordinated attacks from the enemy! Attack patterns do not match any known shadow bug tactics! Formulation of viable countermeasures will take approximately 21 seconds! Please keep the enemy occupied in the interim! Ugh. They're really strong! I don't want to die here! Remains entirely viable against the newly identified Shadow Bunger command unit. <laughs> Night Glow 2, do you read me? Night Glow 2, come in. We're prepared to provide cover fire. You're ordered to pull back now. <laughs> we won't hold back either. So, by some chance, you've been craving a shower of bullets. By all means, stay put. Preparing to perform evasive maneuvers. Recommend you keep your mouth closed to avoid biting your tongue! Oh god, that's where I would die. <laughs> the presumed command units have vanished from our radar. The remaining shadow buggers have begun to retreat. Huh. <sighs> Their level decreased from 3 to 1. Night Glow 1. Night Glow 2. You are to return to the ship at once. Mm. Oh. Night Glow 2. Return to the port now. What in the world was that? Night Glow 2. Come in. Are you okay, Brandon? I said I'd take the lead, but I couldn't make it in time to intercept their assault. I'm so sorry. Seems like the enemy caught on to your power. I won't let you down again, though. Me or not, I swear I'll protect you at all cost. I was so afraid, Captain. I know, but you're okay now. I want you to know, it's okay to be afraid on the battlefield. Fear cannot safeguard you from harm. Those who forget that fear may act rashly and are most likely to meet an early death. Still, there are times when we must stand up to that fear too. That's why we need to always have each other's backs. No matter what, I won't leave you on your own. You can rest assured of that. Okay, let's get out of here. We should both get a medical checkup just to be safe. Shadow buggers taking command of the others. This is a rather troubling development, if so. Uh, unfortunately, by the looks of their movements, I'd say they were commanders for sure. 
<laughs> no matter the plan, they were all there are always bound to be surprises, isn't that right, Commander? Sadly, it is. Still, we've already finished resupplying, so there's no reason to change our strategy just yet. In fact, it may even prove slightly beneficial to our immediate plans, in a sense. You mean because we discovered a hierarchy in their formation? It'll be easier to fight against the system we know. <laughs> Heck. I agree. I... Oh, okay. I agree, it'll do wonders for our planning. When in the heart of the fire, when in the heart of the fire, unpreparedness is one's worst enemy. We failed to secure the person we came here to re-enlist, though. And if I'm not mistaken, he was a big part of the plan moving forward. Won't we need to rethink things now? Oh. You're right about one thing. You failed to secure me. But that's only because I wasn't about to allow myself to be secured. No man, when, how did you get on the ship? Second Lieutenant of the Special Space Forces Nomad reporting for duty. Seems your rookie member is a little more persuasive than you are, Brick. You found yourself, so, ah, you found yourself some real talent. You don't have to rejoin you, no. <laughs> well, can't expect much of you, remember? <laughs> well, the Shadow Buggers have finally pushed their way here. To what? To what was supposed to be a safe zone? I couldn't do a damn thing but abandon my humble food stand and flee for my life. I figure maybe it's not so bad after all to let myself get duped by your likes again. Thank you, no bad. I guess I couldn't just allow myself to abandon you, even though apparently you can't handle you can handle yourself just fine. You reminded me of my younger self just a bit too much. Like I said, we're all beholden to our past. Gets us every time. Huh. I'm pleased to have you back on duty, Lieutenant Nomad. With your arrival, we are sufficiently prepared. At present, we are still working toward infiltration of the Shadow Bugger's home territory. And it's thanks to the diligent work of our intelligence personnel that we've been able to ascertain that location. Initially, our current objective would have been to constrict their main forces, or at least gain some useful intel about them. Would have been... Would the objective change? Having Nomad return to the forest was always part of the plan. Without him, there would be no plan. Why am I not surprised? You lot were never you lot were never overly concerned with our circumstances as, you know, people. To answer your question, Brandon, the reason we're changing our plan is you. Your rule is potentially what's going to get us out of this swamp we've been mucking about in for so long. Once we've accumulated all the data we need to confirm our hypothesis, we can begin moving toward the enemy's stronghold. This new project will give us the chance to take that critical last shot for humanity. This is our this is to be our new final hope. Also because all the other warships that were part of our previous final hope have been vaporized. <laughs> also, we've got no supply points left and nobody else we can recruit. So there's that too. <laughs> it's true. We faced many losses in our struggle against the Shadow Lovers. Because of this war, everyone gathered here has lost so many days they should have been spending enjoying life. This warship was built to function as a wall of steel to protect humanity from further loss. And that's why I hereby swear that this warship, the Wall of Time, will live up to its name. 
We will take back our right to prosperity, to happiness, and to a future. We'll take back time that was stolen from us. Yeah. It's time we move on to our new objective. Our new mission code name will be Remembrance of Things Past. I expect everyone to give their utmost in securing the safety and sanctity of humanity's future. Next time on Night Glows! You will speak three parts of they were civil truth. <laughs> I'm like, I can't read that fast. I just crack up. I couldn't even read that last one. Episode 3. You've got to believe me. <laughs> <laughs>